Have you ever felt the tug of war between wanting to be independent and respecting your parents' advice? Or maybe you find yourself frustrated when they don't seem to understand the choices you make or the dreams you're working toward. If you're in the new generation today with its own challenges, technologies and ways of seeing the world, it's natural to feel that pull. How do you find your voice and your independence without losing the respect and love of those who raised you? The answer, in part, may lie in Stoicism, a philosophy that's thousands of years old but surprisingly relevant to dealing with our relationships today, especially with our parents. So let's explore some guiding principles of Stoicism that help balance our independence with our relationships with our parents. We'll look at how we can practice self-mastery, empathy, patience, and gratitude to keep the peace without compromising who we are. Each of these points can help you feel stronger in your independence and your respect for family. Lesson 1. Accept Reality First, let's talk about acceptance because the world won't change just because we want it to. And neither will people. Your parents come from a different generation, with its own set of values, experiences, and even struggles. They might not see the world as you do. Acceptance here means letting go of the need to control how they think or feel about your decisions. Instead, think of acceptance as a way of finding peace within yourself. What does this look like? When you accept that your parents might not understand every choice you make, you relieve yourself of frustration and resentment. Instead of feeling trapped by their judgments or opinions, you focus on what's in your control, your reactions, your actions, and your mindset. Stoicism teaches that our power lies within us. We can't change others, but we can change how we respond to others. Lesson 2. Focus on Inner Strength Independence in today's world can often feel like it's tied to other people's opinions, social media approval, or external validation. But here's a stoic truth. Real independence comes from within. It's about having confidence in yourself, knowing your values, and acting on them consistently, regardless of who's watching. Maybe your parents doubt your career choice, or they don't agree with the way you're spending your time. When you focus on inner strength, it doesn't matter. You're doing it for yourself. In Stoic philosophy, peace of mind comes not from how others view you, but from the alignment between your actions and your beliefs. If you're certain that the path you're on is the right one for you, that's all the strength you need. Lesson 3. Practice Gratitude In the rush to gain independence, we often forget the foundation that brought us to where we are. Take a moment to think about your parents' contributions, big and small. They may not be perfect, but if you're honest, they've likely done a lot for you over the years. Practicing gratitude isn't about ignoring their flaws or the ways they sometimes misunderstand you. It's about recognizing what they have given, even when it doesn't feel like they understand. When we approach them with gratitude, we shift the dynamic. Instead of clashing, we're building a bridge. Gratitude is also a way to focus on the positives instead of obsessing over the negatives. In today's fast-paced life, it's easy to lose sight of appreciation, but a grateful heart brings peace and perspective. Two qualities that Stoicism encourages in every relationship, including with your parents. Lesson 4. Manage Expectations Expectations can be a silent source of stress, especially if you expect your parents to think exactly like you. They have their own ways, their own conditioning, and they grew up in a different world. In a sense, when we expect them to understand every single thing we do, we're setting ourselves up for disappointment. So manage your expectations. Not everyone will get what you're doing, even if it's something meaningful and important to you. Stoicism teaches that it's unfair to impose our ideas onto others. Managing expectations with our parents is a reminder to let go of the need for constant approval and, instead, Accept that they might not always understand. That's okay because your independence doesn't depend on them approving of every choice. Lesson 5. Stay composed. How many times have you had an argument with your parents and afterward regretted the words you said or the way you said them? Losing our temper often makes things worse, doesn't it? Staying composed is a superpower in any relationship. 
but especially with parents. Stoicism encourages us to keep calm and collected, even in moments of disagreement. When you choose to stay composed, you're showing them respect even if you disagree. Remember that self-control is key to gaining respect. Your parents are more likely to listen to you if you approach disagreements calmly rather than reacting with anger. And by doing this, you're showing them that you're mature and independent, qualities they'll respect even if they don't agree with everything you say. Lesson 6. Empathy Matters We're quick to see our side, but how often do we pause and look from their perspective? Empathy is about understanding why they act the way they do. Why do they worry about your choices? Is it fear, concern, or just a difference in experiences? Many times, it's just that, concern. Stoicism asks us to walk in others' shoes. When we practice empathy, we're reminded that they love us and worry about us in their own ways. Maybe they feel that today's world is so different and complex that they're trying to protect us in ways we can't fully understand. By considering their perspective, we can respond to them in a way that honors their feelings while standing firm in our independence. Lesson 7. Communicate calmly. Lastly, we often assume that others should understand us without needing explanations, especially parents. But communication is a two-way street. It's easy to lose patience, especially when they question your decisions. But calm communication can be the most powerful tool you have. Imagine explaining your goals or reasons for certain decisions without getting defensive. A calm conversation gives you space to be heard, and it shows maturity. When you're calm, they're more likely to listen without feeling the need to argue. Instead of focusing on proving them wrong, focus on making them understand. When they see that you're speaking with respect and clarity, they might just surprise you with their openness. In this journey of becoming independent, Stoicism reminds us to keep a balanced mindset. Yes, we want to stand on our own, but not at the cost of damaging our relationships. Independence doesn't have to mean a disconnect from our families. It can mean finding harmony between being true to ourselves and honoring our parents. When we accept what we cannot change, Focus on our inner strength, practice gratitude, manage expectations, stay composed, and communicate with empathy. We bring that harmony closer. In today's world, it's easy to forget these principles, but they're timeless tools for handling relationships with respect, clarity, and confidence. Remember, your journey is yours, but that doesn't mean you're alone. We walk it with strength, compassion, and purpose. Now that we've covered how accepting reality, focusing on inner strength, and practicing gratitude can help us navigate the journey toward independence, let's explore even more practical stoic principles. These next few points dive into embracing criticism, setting boundaries, and leading by example, all crucial elements for dealing with parents in a way that respects both your independence and their concerns. Lesson 8. Accept Criticism. How often do we react defensively when our parents criticize us? It's easy to feel hurt, as if they don't believe in us or don't trust our decisions. But here's a stoic insight. Criticism isn't necessarily an attack on who you are. In fact, it can be a tool for growth. Marcus Aurelius, a famous stoic philosopher, often reminded himself that criticism is only harmful if you let it affect you negatively. So, next time your parents express doubts or give feedback that feels harsh, take a moment to separate the emotion from the message. Is there something valuable in their words? Are they pointing out something that you hadn't considered? Even if you don't agree, listening calmly can deepen your resilience. Accepting criticism is a mark of maturity and independence because it shows that you're open to learning without needing constant approval. Lesson 9. Set boundaries respectfully. Independence naturally requires boundaries, but setting them with our parents can be tricky. Stoicism teaches us to approach all interactions with respect and clarity. Rather than distancing yourself out of frustration, think about how you can set boundaries without damaging the relationship. For instance, if they frequently call to check on you, and it feels overwhelming, you can let them know that while you appreciate their concern, you need some space to focus on yourself and your goals. The key here is to communicate these boundaries with respect. It's not about shutting them out. 
it's about letting them know where you stand. When you set boundaries respectfully, you're showing your parents that you're mature enough to make decisions while still valuing the relationship. Independence, after all, doesn't mean severing connections, but defining them in ways that feel healthy for both sides. Lesson 10. Seek wisdom, not approval. One of the biggest challenges today is that we often seek approval instead of wisdom. And approval, especially from our parents, can sometimes feel like the ultimate goal. But Stoicism encourages us to shift our focus from seeking external approval to seeking wisdom. Wisdom is about making thoughtful choices based on reason, experience, and values, regardless of who agrees with you. Think about it. Your parents may not always agree with your decisions, but if your choices are rooted in genuine wisdom and understanding, that's enough. Wisdom has a solid foundation that doesn't rely on others' validation. The best part. When you act from a place of wisdom, others, parents included, eventually recognize your maturity. So, focus on seeking wisdom in your actions and decisions. The goal is to be true to yourself, not to gain approval at every turn. Lesson 11. Embrace responsibility. Independence and responsibility go hand in hand. One of the core teachings of Stoicism is that we should take full responsibility for our actions both the successes and the mistakes. Today's world often encourages us to shift blame, to point fingers, or to deflect responsibility, especially when things go wrong. But a truly independent person doesn't shy away from accountability. This means that if you make a decision and it doesn't turn out well, you don't hide it or blame your parents for not warning you. Instead, you own up to it. You say, this was my choice and I'll handle the outcome. Parents notice when you take responsibility. And over time, this builds their trust in your ability to manage your life. It's a quiet strength that Stoicism teaches us. Accepting that every decision, good or bad, shapes our path, and we alone are responsible for where it takes us. Lesson 12. Avoid arguments for argument's sake. Let's face it, arguments with parents are bound to happen especially when there's a clash of perspectives. But one of the core teachings of Stoicism is to avoid unnecessary arguments or arguments for the sake of winning. Winning an argument doesn't necessarily mean you've made your point. Sometimes, it only creates distance and resentment. Instead, consider whether the argument is worth engaging in. Will it bring clarity and understanding, or is it likely to create more tension? Stoicism teaches us to choose our battles wisely, to know when to engage in discussions, and when to simply let go. If you feel strongly about something, share your thoughts calmly, and let the discussion be about understanding rather than who's right. Over time, this approach fosters a more peaceful and respectful dynamic, allowing both sides to express themselves without unnecessary conflict. Lesson 13. Lead by Example. In the pursuit of independence, one of the most effective ways to gain respect from your parents is to lead by example. When you live your life with responsibility, resilience, and integrity, your parents will see the maturity in your actions. Actions often speak louder than words, and Stoicism encourages us to let our behavior reflect our principles. For instance, if you're pursuing a career they don't fully understand, show them your commitment and dedication. If you've made a decision to prioritize personal growth, let them see your consistency. You don't need to explain or justify every choice when you're leading by example. Eventually, they'll recognize your independence and maturity through your actions. Stoicism teaches us that genuine influence comes not from pushing others, but from living by our values. Lesson 14. Cultivate Patience. One of the most timeless qualities of Stoicism is patience. Parents may not instantly understand or accept your independence. They might have their own fears and reservations, and it's normal for them to take time to come around. Patience allows you to give them that time without feeling frustrated or discouraged. Think of it this way, just as you are evolving and growing, so are they. They're on their own journey, learning to see you in a new light, adjusting to the fact that you're no longer the child they once knew. So, be patient. Let them witness your growth at their own pace. Over time, 
Your patience will strengthen the relationship, showing them that you respect their journey as much as you value your own. Each of these stoic principles, accepting criticism, setting boundaries, seeking wisdom, embracing responsibility, avoiding unnecessary arguments, leading by example, and cultivating patience offers a way to honor your independence while respecting the role your parents play in your life. In today's fast-changing world, where independence is often seen as a quick leap away from family, these principles remind us that true independence is deeper. It's about balancing who you are with the relationships that have shaped you. These lessons of Stoicism aren't just abstract ideals. They're practical tools for creating a life that respects both our personal freedom and our relationships. By embracing criticism, setting respectful boundaries, and choosing wisdom over approval, we lay the foundation for a meaningful and balanced life. The journey to independence doesn't mean leaving family behind, but learning to stand on your own, while respecting those who have been part of your journey. As you walk this path, let patience, empathy, and integrity guide you. In doing so, you'll find that independence isn't a struggle against family, but a journey you take with them, on your own terms. As we journey further, you might have noticed how stoic principles can transform not only the way you approach your independence, but also how you relate to your parents. Today's world often pushes us to prioritize quick independence, sometimes at the expense of family relationships. But Stoicism reminds us that genuine strength lies in patience, understanding, and resilience. Let's dive into the final principles, which include self-reflection, consistency, and the art of balancing independence with compassion. Lesson 15. Cultivate Patience Let's start with patience, a quality often underrated but incredibly powerful in maintaining harmony while asserting your independence. In today's fast-paced world, we expect immediate understanding from others, especially from our parents. But they're adjusting to your growth just as you are. Their concerns or reluctance to fully embrace your independence may not stem from distrust, but from the simple fact that they need time to see you in this new light. Imagine each disagreement as a wave. Instead of standing rigidly against it, patience teaches us to flow with it, to wait for the right moment to address issues calmly rather than react impulsively. Patience is the quiet strength that reminds you to let go of the need for immediate results and instead trust in the journey. Over time, your patience will show your parents that your independence is steady, thoughtful, and genuine. Lesson 16. Value Silence Sometimes, the most powerful tool you have is silence. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of measured speech, of knowing when to speak and when to hold back. Think about how often arguments escalate because both sides feel the need to defend their point immediately. Silence, in those moments, can be an act of wisdom, not avoidance. It's a pause that allows both you and your parents to process what's been said before emotions take over. In conversations with your parents, choosing silence at the right moments shows maturity. You're not avoiding the issue but simply allowing a moment of calm. This silence can often communicate respect and thoughtfulness more effectively than words ever could. Stoicism encourages us to find strength in restraint. When you choose silence, you're demonstrating that you don't need to argue every point to prove your independence. Instead, you let your actions and choices quietly speak for themselves. Lesson 17. Self-reflect often. In our quest for independence, it's easy to get swept up by external pressures. What society expects, what friends think, or even what our parents want. Stoicism teaches the importance of self-reflection, of regularly examining our motivations and decisions. Why are you making certain choices? Are they genuinely aligned with your values, or are they a reaction to family expectations or peer influence? Self-reflection keeps you grounded, ensuring that your independence is rooted in authenticity. By understanding your true motivations, you avoid making choices simply out of rebellion or pressure. Regularly ask yourself, am I being true to myself? Does this path align with my purpose? When you approach life with this clarity, you're not only building a strong foundation for independence, but also showing your parents that you're intentional, 
thoughtful, and grounded in who you are. Lesson 18. Detach from immediate reactions. How often do we feel defensive or hurt by our parents' comments? It's easy to react impulsively, especially when we feel misunderstood. But Stoicism teaches us the art of detachment, not from people, but from emotional reactions. When you detach from immediate reactions, you give yourself a moment to process the situation without getting swept away by emotions. Think of it as taking a mental step back. Instead of reacting right away, take a deep breath and observe the situation. What is the best response here? Is reacting with anger going to help or will a calm response serve you better? Detachment isn't about being cold or indifferent. It's about choosing a response that aligns with your values and goals. Over time, this practice builds resilience, allowing you to respond to your parents with respect even in challenging situations. Lesson 19. Honor their role. As you grow more independent, it's important to remember that your parents played a crucial role in shaping who you are. Independence doesn't mean disregarding or disrespecting that role. It means honoring it in a way that acknowledges their influence while forging your own path. This stoic principle encourages gratitude without attachment. It's about acknowledging the good, learning from the less than perfect, and moving forward with respect. Honoring their role doesn't mean you have to follow their path. Instead, it's a way to show that you value what they've contributed to your life, even as you carve out your own journey. By expressing appreciation for their guidance, you foster a connection that's based on respect rather than obligation. In this way, your independence is enriched, not weakened, by the acknowledgement of those who came before you. Lesson 20. Practice Compassion. Compassion is often seen as a gentle quality, but it has a strength all its own, especially in family relationships. Parents may sometimes seem overly concerned, critical, or worried. But often, this comes from a place of love or fear for your future. Stoicism teaches us to see past the immediate actions and look at the intentions behind them. By practicing compassion, you create space for understanding. Instead of seeing their concerns as criticisms, try to recognize the love that drives them. Compassion doesn't mean you agree with everything they say or do, but it does mean you approach them with empathy. When you respond with compassion, you're choosing understanding over conflict, kindness over resentment. This choice brings peace into your relationship, and it's a powerful form of independence, one that values harmony over division. Lesson 21. Stay consistent. Finally, one of the most important principles in Stoicism and in life is consistency. Independence isn't a single act of rebellion or decision. It's a continuous journey of making choices that align with your values. When you're consistent in your actions, beliefs, and boundaries, you build a reputation for reliability and strength. Over time, this consistency is what convinces others, especially your parents, that you're capable and mature. Consistency shows that you're not just seeking independence for the sake of it, but because you're committed to a life that's true to yourself. When you consistently uphold your values and make thoughtful decisions, your parents will see that your independence isn't a phase. It's a way of life. Over time, this reliability strengthens trust and respect in the relationship. You become someone they can depend on, not because you're following their path, but because you're responsibly walking your own. Each of these stoic principles, patience, silence, self-reflection, detachment, honoring their role, compassion, and consistency, adds depth and strength to your journey toward independence. The wisdom of Stoicism reminds us that independence is not about distancing ourselves from family, but about living in harmony with those who have shaped us while staying true to who we are. In a world that often prioritizes immediate results and quick independence, Stoicism teaches us the value of a steady, thoughtful path. By practicing patience, valuing silence, and being consistent, you're building an independence that's grounded and resilient. These qualities not only make you stronger, but also allow you to build a meaningful relationship with your parents based on respect and understanding. Ultimately, independence isn't about proving anything to anyone. It's about creating a life that's aligned with your own principles and values. 
As you walk this path, let the wisdom of Stoicism be your guide, helping you balance the needs of independence with the love and respect for family. Independence and family can coexist. They're not opposites. They're partners in your journey toward becoming the best version of yourself. Let this philosophy guide you to a place of peace, purpose, and harmony. And with this, we conclude our reflection on Stoic principles for managing relationships and independence. I hope these insights empower you as you navigate the journey of independence with grace, wisdom, and respect. Thank you.